from 7,103 a year ago to just... Uh, hold on, to... hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry? You heard about the shooting off the Route 1 exit, I trust. Half an hour before any response team arrived on the scene. Over 700 rounds fired in that time. What happened? Where are the gunmen now? Well, the NCPD is responsible for the safety and security of all citizens within city limits. Sarah, Sarah, but, uh, sweetheart, group don't one, feed us. Uh,
Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Tom's diner. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the room. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Looks like everyone in this fucking town's out to end you. Makes me feel like an amateur. A hack. Ugh, shut up. Gotta find out why Night City's most courteous is upgraded to hit and runs. Probably couldn't stand you anymore either. I said shut up! Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Uh, 
Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but... She showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Mm. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This cooperation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. 
Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogel danced any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us.
You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, huh? too. Things went ass up, huh? Not planned. Son. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's?
since Jackie passed away. Wanted to call you before Mama Wells, but... <sighs> you know how it is. You had other important things on your mind. Maybe that. What's the matter? Just wanted to know how... You know, you were holding up. No good, B. Parents should not... Hey! Bury their own haven't children. I seen you here before? Mm, I can't even do this. Got Wait a up. good memory Don't for worry. faces. I take care of myself. We're I suppose right you still now. do what you... Uh, what you did before. Just promise me you won't get yourself killed, okay? May he watch over you, Mia. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. herself again. Wonder why Sue even keeps her around. We're kidding. Her virtues keep him coming. Keep the lights on. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. You're done with that buckwood? Yep. Back to the bump and grind. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Anyone could end up useful. Give it some time. They'll pay for themselves. Hey! Chicks can barely take care of themselves. Not when they're face down in the mud. Oh, yeah, we fucking are. Wanted to ask you something. Not now. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? This is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. V, get Susie it together. seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? 
That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Mr. Hands. If you're looking for working Pacifica, I'm the man to call. I'm V. No, nice to meet you. All right. How very nice to meet you. If you have business, you know my number.
Kako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Thank 
I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arasaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets swelled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. Blow up, doll. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Jack in, please. Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Jack in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Alright, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two 
matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Not here to pay and play. Just want some info. Ah, unfortunately, that we do not sell. Should you change your mind, come back. Control yourself! Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. 
Go see a Ripper doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husband's knew Westbrook. Yes. Each of them. Very high in the Tiger Claws. Ruled Japan Town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pool, sold sex, and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Something raw, untouched. I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way those who know don't need to ask. What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know don't need to ask.
in my bed. <laughs> Yes! What is it? My chrome could use some fine-tuning. Here to serve.
Thank you. 
your style. See you have a flair for the unique. All handpicked by me. It do well to attract new patients? Who knows? It's for me, for my aesthetic pleasure. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how, exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Compiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there.
It's good to see you, B. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes. And if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. <laughs> right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Is there? So what happened? Your Inobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe. ...in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama... ...most certainly... ...I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not... But you can't failed. ignore the truth! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your inabu -san. Sorry, but this gonna take much longer. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself Raki. Oda. Not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place. This city. Unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, 
How do you figure that? What Oda said. They return to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? J.J. Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a nice city name. Beware. You mock me too often. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You alright, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... Um, I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who took your team, but the girls? No, never. My boys know their place. I I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. 